now we discuss little bit more further about the SAC. So we learn what is SAC collection of data, well defined collection of data, then what is subset. Subset means if we have one universal set and the, from that universal set we take some element and make a new set is called subset of that main set. So next we will learn now algebra of sets. So first basic rule is union of sets. So what is the meaning of union? Union means if we have two sets, union means plus. So if we have two sets, we have to combine. So union of sets, for example, notation for union is U. Another main is intersection. First we learn union and then we move for intersection. So if A is 1, 2, 3, 4 and our B set is 2, 4, 6, 8. Next our task is found A union B. So A union B means all the collection of all the elements which are in A or either in B. That is not necessary for common. So all the elements. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8. So A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8. We never write the repeat element. For example, 2 belongs to A also, 2 belongs to B also. So only 2 write one time in the new set. In, this is our rooster form. In builder form, how to write union set? Definition of A union B in builder form X. X will either X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Means not necessarily belonging to both, but for union, either A belong, X belongs to A or X belongs to B. That gives the A union B. Definitely, A is always subset of A union B. C. All the elements of A are here. Similarly, B is also subset of A union B. Next, A it's also true. And if A union A is always A union A, union with the same set is the same set. It means it's equal to A. If A union B is gives B whole set. For example, A have two element 1 comma 2 and B have 1, 2, 3, 4. Then what is A union B? A union B is 1, 2, 3 and 4. See, so if A union B is B whole set, then A is always subset of B. See, A is subset of B because 1 and 2 both are the element of B also. And A is also subset of A union B. Next, it follows the associative law also. If we find A union B, union C is equal to, first find B union C and then union with A, both gives the same answer. So, it follows the union, always follow the associative law also. Next, most important algebra of set is intersection of set. Intersection means now subtraction or we can say common element. So intersection in general language it's common element from we have to short out from both 2, 3, 4 set both all the common element from that set is called intersection. So for example same if A is 1, 2, 3, 4, B is 2, 4, 6 and 8 then A intersection B is given by the common element only common element are 2 and 4. So, A intersection B given by 2 comma 4. It's rooster form for builder form. X, X belongs to A and X belongs to B. Now, this element X belongs from both the set. Then only it's called intersection of the set. So, A intersection B is always subset of A. A intersection B is always subset of B. A intersection B is equal to B intersection either anything take first result will be same because we have to short out the common element. This intersection also allow the associative law of algebra. So A intersection B intersection C is always equal to A intersection B intersection.
intersection C. So here we first find out the intersection B and then from that set we find this. Here first we find this set and then find this set. For example, I give you if we proceed from here A is this, B is this and we take another set C is 1, 3, 5 and 7. Now we will check both union and associativity. So for intersection also. Let's see. From here A union B is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now A union B union C. So from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7. This is our a union B union C. Now we check the associative law. So first find B union C. Let's see. B union C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7. So B union C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7. Now find A union B union C. So this set and A set. See, if we find out the union, it's the same. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7. Now, check the result. Both are same. So, it's follow the associativity law. Similarly, if we find about the intersection, let's see A intersection B. A intersection B is 1, 2 from here. Then next is A intersection B set, then intersection with C. If we find from here and here, common element is only 1. So our set is 1. Next, first we found A, sorry, B intersection C. So here, B intersection C is from B and C. Common element are 1. 3, no more. So, common element are 1 and 3. Next, from this set, we find the intersection with A. So, A intersection, B intersection, C. Let's see. B intersection, C is 1, 3. A is 1, 2. So, common element are only 1. So, our new set gives by only 1. Now, see the result. A intersection, B Intersection C is also 1, then A intersection, B intersection C also gives 1. So, it allow and follow the associative law, either it's for intersection or for union. Next, we find what is called complement of a set. So, I will show you what is called complement of set. Complement of any set is written by A complement A to the power C or we can represent by dash also. So, both the notation are so in complement of set. So, what is complement? Complement means if we have one universal set, main set and we have some subset of that universal set, then complement of that subset is given by, for example, U is the universal set, A is subset of U, then A complement is set of all the elements other than A. So, from comparing with universal set and the subset, all the elements other than A set is called complement set. For example, universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then our A subset is set of all odd number from this set. Then what is A complement? A complement is given by other than this element. So other than this element is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So, this is called A complement of given set. Always A intersection A complement. Complement set from same set don't have any common element. So, it is always empty set. This is you must remember always that complement set is always if we find the intersection with the same set it gives the 5 or we can say empty element. Next, another thing, if we have two set, we operation is A minus B or B minus A. So, what is this set? This A minus B subtraction of any two set. 
For example, if A is same, we can say A is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. My set B is 2, 4, 6, 7 and 10. Clear? Then if I want to find out A minus B. So A minus B is very simple. The common element which are in A and B we will cut. For example, common element is only 7. Cut from 7. No other element is common. So 7 subtracted from A and the result set is called A minus B set. So this is called our A minus B means the B common element cut from the first set and remaining element is called A minus B. If we want to write B minus A set then for B minus A common element cut from B and then the remaining set is called B minus A. So my B minus A is 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 10. So this is called Subtraction of any two sets. How to write A minus B or B minus A? Both are not vice versa. Both are different. Like you can see with this example. If we want to write A minus B is another set. B minus A is another set. We don't say A minus B is equal to B minus A. Because A minus B is given by common element cut and the remaining element from A. B minus A is given by common element cut and then remaining element from B. It's subtraction of element. Next, some properties of, some more properties of set. If we can say properties for the set. For example, if we have some union of set B1, B2, B3, all are the sets, then we want to find out A intersection B1, union B2, union B3. Then that is equal to follow the rule A intersection B1, union A intersection B2, union A intersection B3, union A intersection B4, union and so on, A intersection Bn both side left hand side and the right hand side you can see give the same result so this follow the rule of union and intersection similarly opposite way if we have a union b1 intersection b2 intersection b3 intersection b4 till bn then it's also equal to a union b1 intersection a union b2 intersection a union b3 intersection a union a this is union B N. Next, very important law which is called De Morgan's law. What is this De Morgan's law? De Morgan's law are basically for complement. If we have A intersection B complement, then A intersection B complement is always equal to of A complement union B complement. This is first law. Second. A union B complement is given by A complement intersection B complement. Always remember for remembering this law, if this is intersection, this is union. You must remember. Similarly, here this is union, then this is intersection. So A union B whole complement equal to A complement intersection B complement because here union. Now A union A intersection B complement gives by A complement union B complement. You can check this and you can see the proof of this D Morgan's law. It's very important law in algebra of set. Next I will show you already when I tell them about the complement of set. Complement of set if X is our universal set. Set A is subset of X, then A complement is the element which other than A belongs from X. So both A and A complement don't have any common element, so always intersection of both are fine. Next, A union of A complement. A union of A complement always gives the universal set because A is subset of X, whatever our union uh, universal set. A complement is the other element, collection of other element than A. Then union gives the universal whole set. Then complement of empty set. 
if we have phi, the complement of empty set, it means its whole universal set. Then a complement of complement again give our a set. For example, very easy. If a is 1, 2, 3, x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then a complement is 4 and 5. Next, complement, a complement of complement. Again, complement of this 4, 5 cut. Then it gives 1, 2, 3. See, a complement of complement is the same set. Because the same process way. First we find the other element. Then again, other than element that are a only. So, it's the, all the some properties and law of uh, algebra of set. This all about the sets theory. Next, we I will show you what is power set. So, we know a set, then subset, then power set. Power set means a collection of set of all sub subset of the given set. The collection of all subset of OA is called the power set denoted by PA. So, how to write power set? Power set denoted by PA. For example, my A is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then what is our power set? Power set is all the element collection. First you write the subsets. First subset is 5. Then single element 1, 2, 3, 4. Then element with 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 4, 1. Next 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 1. 4, 1, 2. So, here also some more set. So, next whole set 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what is the power set? PA is this. Collection of all subset of the given set is called power set. So, this is called power set and how many elements in power set we can find out by the rule 2 to the power n. n is number of element in given set. So for example, if I have 1, 2, 3, 4 element, then 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16. So in power set we have 16 element. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It means we miss two more elements with this 2. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1. Then some more combination are there. No, then 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 1, 4, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. Maybe two more sets are there. So there are 16 elements. Always you can find all the elements. For power set means all the collection of subset. Next week I will show you what is class and a family of set. There are two class of set. Class of set means uh, basically its power set. Collection of all member of its set means all the this main set then its all subset member of set is called class. So class is basically power set is class of set and then family. Family means many collection of many classes is called family of set. This all about the set. In further more video we will solve some more example on this algebra of set. That's all for today. Thank you very much.